Hi, my name is Tammy Seert, Andis Educator, and this is Ashley. And today I'm going to show you how to do a pet land trim. I am starting out by brushing the dog with the Andis Slicker brush. and following up with the Andis 10 inch stainless steel comb. Comb all the way down to the skin. If you find any knots or tangles, go back and tackle these with the slicker brush again and re-comb. For the face of a poodle, I use a number 15 with my Andis Vita clipper. For dogs with sensitive skin, start with a nine or a 10 as it will leave the most length and is less likely to cause irritation. I will start by clipping the cheeks from the front corner of the ear, shaving in reverse to the corner of the eye. Continue clipping by going down the muzzle. Do this on both the right and left side of the face. Next, shave the throat. From this point, clip up the throat and under the chin, removing all hair. Be sure to pull the flues tight and shave all the hair along the lip line so it is neat and tidy. The clip line on the sides of the neck will go up to the bottom of the ear and into the cheek that you already shaved. On this poodle, I will be using the 30 length on my Andis Vita Clipper to shave the feet. If the dog has sensitive skin, try the longer length. Start by clipping the pads next. There are two bones on the side of each foot. That is roughly how far I want to shave up the foot. By wrapping my hand around the ankle, Clip the line all the way around the foot. Next, I will shave the top of the foot up to my clipper line in reverse against the grain. By separating the toes with your fingers, get in between each toe to remove all hair. If you have a hard time getting the hair next to the nail, you can flip the clipper around and push the blade into the hair. Shave all four feet. While I still have my Vita clipper in my hand, I will go ahead and clip the base of the tail. For this dog, I use the 30 blade length. I will measure where to clip by pulling the tail down toward the table. I want to shave this area to just below the anus. Clip this area in reverse all the way around the base of the tail. I like to clip a V shape into the top line. This will add a little style and it will also help with a low tail set, giving the dog a better profile. I will be using the Andis Pulse ZR2 clipper with a 30 blade and a half inch comb attachment. If you prefer to leave the coat shorter or longer, Choose another attachment comb included in the kit. Starting at the back of the neck, just behind the occiput, clip the hair off the body and skim down the rear angulation. Continue down the chest to the top of the front legs. Next, I use the three quarter inch comb and I skim down all four legs. Once the body and legs are clipped, you can prepare for scissoring. I will start by combing the hair down over the feet that you have already clipped. I use a curved shear and scissor around the hair to create a bevel. Do all four legs.
comb down and scissor again to finish. Comb all the hair up on the rear of the dog. Using a straight shear angled to 45 degrees, create rear angulation by pointing your shears at the hip bone. I will then locate the pin bone and using a curved shear, point the shear at the natural bend in the angulation of the dog. Scissoring this area and following it around to the outside of the leg. To start the tail, I comb the hair away from the dog's body, taking note of where the actual tail ends with my forefinger and thumb. Just past the end of the tail, I will trim off hair to my desired length. Next, lift the tail up, comb the hair down, and bevel the base by scissoring and shaping anything that hangs past the clipper line. Finally, I will comb and fluff to check that the shape is how I like it. Comb up the front legs and scissor the outside of the leg, the inside, and the front to create columns. Check all the legs by combing up the hair to make sure they are even. With the body complete, I can finish the groom by scissoring the head. Start by combing the hair on the top knot over the right side of the face. Using a curved shear, scissor off anything that hangs over your clipper lines. Follow the same steps on the other side. Part the top of the head down the middle and trim over and behind the ears. To create the rounded look in front, comb the visor forward and use the curved shears to blend into your lines. Then with your comb, fluff the hair up on top of the head and scissor to make it smooth and even. Refluff the hair and check from every angle to make sure you have a nice shape. Next, I will show you a straight ear. With the dog facing you, comb down the hair. Using your straight shears, cut the bottom of the hair on the ear. This will leave a blunt cut. Comb again to make sure both sides are even. Thank you for joining us. To learn more, check out other videos across andis.com.